What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill back with another video, man. You already know what's going on. Today, we're going to be talking about console and the Apollo Twin and Unison Mode. So, it's real simple. Basically, Unison Mode is like bridging the gap between hardware and software because the Apollo plugin is run on the Apollo Twin. So, when you put a preamp like or a channel strip on there, say like an Avalon 737, that's what I use most of the time. When you put something like that on there, it's running off of your Apollo and it's processing your vocal before it even gets to whatever dog you're using. So the compression, EQ, and anything like that is already being affected before it even hits the dog. So you know what I'm saying? That's how you get a bigger sound. So most songs I record, I use the Avalon actually. I used to use the Manly Vox Box a lot. So if you got either one of those, they both dope. You can get a great sound out of both of them. You get like a warm analog type of sound going in. So uh, I'm just gonna basically show you guys a little preset that I use and you can really go through. They got tons of presets on here. So you can go through and just experiment and test them for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And figure out what preset works for you. So the main preset I actually use is a Mike Dean preset. He got a few of them, but I use the Fat Vocal. I've been using that preset. I swear I've been using this preset for like the past 15 songs I recorded and not even just recording me, other artists I recorded. Love the preset, love the way it sounds. You just got a slight bass boost, um, a little boost in the high mids, and then a little boost in the treble. And you got a little bit of compression going on, not a lot at all and uh it set the mic and and a little high passing but that's pretty much it um the next one i use is the box box and i actually created my own preset with that so i'm just opening up a new little session and show you guys i created a few presets the first preset i use on the box box is real simple real basic just a little bit of compression that's it and a little bit of gain a little bit of high pass just to roll off that mud and it just gives you a real clean sound to start off with going into your dog. And remember that this is printed. So whatever you do on here and remember to always mute the analog tracks so you're not hearing twice. You want to monitor through your dog, especially if you're using the template. Now, if you're not using no template and you want to straight monitor through UAD, you can put inserts, you can put EQ and all of that and make sure you got to set the UAD monitor so it's not recording all of that stuff because you can't go back and change that in the mix as far as EQ and stuff and compression. You never want to over compress on the way in also. So you see, I just got a little bit of compression going on with a fast release and a medium attack. You know what I'm saying? Just taming the vocal and making it sound smoother, having me do it just a little bit less mix work on the way in. Um, and the next preset I made for the Vox Box is the Akil Vox 2. And basically, these are the exact settings right here for it. Um, low compression, same compression setup. Only thing I added was a little bit of de-essing because I did a high peak right here at the 12K and then I did a mid dip at the 300. And that's pretty much it, mad simple. You know what I'm saying? But I use this for almost every song. It's either gonna be the Vox Box or it's gonna be the Avalon 737. But like I said, lately I've really been on that Avalon. I just like the way it, it sound, you know what I'm saying? I just like the sound it's giving me. So I want y'all to go ahead and experiment that. If you got an Apollo and you're not using unison mode, I'm telling you, you slacking, you're doing it wrong. Like you gotta use unison mode. It's gonna make your vocals 10 times better. I promise you, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and experiment with those presets. Use the Avalon, use the Vox Box and just see what kind of sound you can get. Even if you don't got the Vox Box, there's other preamps in here. You know what I'm saying? You got the Neve. I've used that before, it sounds crazy, you know what I'm saying? Some of these are expensive, so if you have any of these or even the one that, that came with it, I think the stock, the, the B, you know what I'm saying? This one right here, even this one, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna help improve your sound over not using anything at all. But I would say the king of all of this, I've tested pretty much all of this and I love the Avalon, you know what I'm saying? That just gives me the sound I want, especially for like hip hop and R&B vocals. If you're looking for that, that's like Kanye's favorite, like, but he used the hardware. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's damn close. They did a real good job. So I'm gonna just keep it short, man. That's pretty much it. That's unison mode. You use it in console. You, you basically just processing your vocals a little bit before they get to the DAW and it's printed on your vocals. So it's just like having hardware almost. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Check out my last video I just posted too. It's super dope, man. That's pretty much it, man. I'm out. Tap in with y'all later.